There are some brand new Cartoon Network shows coming out in 2018, and instead of going over every single one, I'm going to be going over my top three. I was initially going to tell you guys every single upcoming cartoon next year. However, there are quite a few I really don't care for at all. Ahem, <clears throat> Lego Unikitty. But with all that being said, let's get on to the top three list. Number three is Summer Camp Island. Oscar and his best friend Hedgehog have just been dropped off at their first summer camp. Away from their parents, the two friends must summon all their courage to navigate the mysteries and wonders of the camp where the counselors are witches, horses become unicorns, and monsters live under the bed. Not all camps offer the opportunity to swim with a talking shark in the pool, crawl under the bed into a different universe, or make friends with the moon, but on summer camp island anything can happen. Hey mom, things have gotten pretty strange since you dropped me off at camp. Like our socks turned into abominable snowmen, and horses became unicorns. And the camp counselors are all popular girls with magical powers. When you watch these clips, there's an elephant in the room that I should address immediately. The style is very bad. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, well this is a simple show, I'll probably watch it. And yeah, the style is really simple, but there's just something about it. Maybe it's the way they talk, maybe it's the way they're actually animated, but I feel like it's not fluid at all. However, that is my main complaint with Summer Camp Island, and this is a top three about the best Cartoon Network shows coming next year. So let's talk about the good. I think the environment of a summer camp is very good. You don't often see that in Cartoon Network shows, and this is a nice change of pace. Also, there's not a whole lot about the plot other than what I told you, but for the most part, this is probably going to focus on those supernatural creatures like monsters and unicorns and all this really cool fantasy stuff. I'm looking forward to how these characters navigate the strange camp. I do think the story here has some major potential. However, with this style, I don't know if it's going to be the type of cartoon that I watch all the time. Either way, I'm going to give it a chance, and I do think you should too, because it probably won't be that bad. Everything at summer camp is really weird. Like the aliens, the parallel universe, and these post it notes, the monster under your bed reading your diary. Hey, put that down! You're disgusting. We're gonna make tonight the most normal sleepover of all time, so it feels like we're back at home with our parents. Number two is Craig of the Creek. It's set in a kid utopia of untamed wilderness. Craig and his two best friends have ventured, and tribes of children reign over tree forts and dirt bike ramps. Now, I don't want to go too much into detail for Craig of the Creek because we have almost no details other than that and this picture, but I do want to say it's going to be an adventure series. It's something Cartoon Network doesn't have much of besides Adventure Time, and I think this will be a really good idea. Now, if you watch Steven Universe, you are probably well aware that this picture is the exact same style as that. The reason is that the creators of Craig of the Creek actually worked on Steven Universe as former writers. So yeah, not much is known, and we will get more details as time goes on. However, from this picture and the synopsis we have right now, I do think this series is going to be good. Adventure, imagination, and interesting style, it's definitely something to look forward to in 2018. And my number one Cartoon Network show coming out next year is Apple and Onion. Wake up time, 549, feeling fine cause it's wake up time. 5.49? Why are we up at 5.49? Oh, because it had to rhyme with wake up time. For the song. What's wrong with 8.49? Wake up time, 8.49, feel him. Yeah, true, we could have done 8.49. You might be thinking, well, this looks really stupid. Every character is a food item, and it's just so dumb. Well, I do think Apple and Onion has some serious potential, and it could be a cartoon that fills the void that regular show left. Two lovable buddies are new and naive to the ways of the big city of sophisticated food as they go on adventures and make friends. We have a full pilot released of Apple and Onion, and if I have to describe it in one word, I would say charming. Don't get me wrong, it's not amazing, but it has a special tone and feel to it that I I really want to see more of. Also, another reason this show will probably be good in the comedy department is that it's going to have some British humor. Shoutouts to everyone in the UK, you guys are really funny. But yeah, Apple and Onion I'm looking forward to most in 2018 just because it has that special charm to it that I don't see much in modern Cartoon Eric shows, especially the reboots. How old is your niece? She just turned two last week. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, let me see that. Look at her tiny little. Oh, what a cute little baby. Oh, babies. Now, the animation in the pilot isn't the most smooth in the world, I'll admit it could be a lot better, but keep in mind, this is the pilot and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the full style. Like, I would guess it's going to be similar, but a bit more detailed than this, and I'm just really hyped for that. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.